uh, every day we believe a Monday to a Saturday we have up to 24 different papers. Uh, some of these papers does not come comes out every day. Some paper maybe comes on the Monday, uh, some paper Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Friday and so on. And every district maybe have from uh, 7, 8, 8, Seven to eight, up to maybe fifteen different uh, papers for one day. So you don't have twenty-four papers for one different papers for one day. Then of course we have about two hundred to two hundred fifty papers to deliver every morning. And some districts maybe have only one hundred fifty papers. Some have nearly three hundred papers. Uh, how to work? Uh, <coughs> as I said, you can uh, work uh, on, on the Sundays if you want, and you can get one district for a Sunday, but that Sunday district, we only deliver uh, two uh, different papers, D and an SVD. The, uh, and these papers comes for the whole uh, country Sweden. Uh, if you work Monday to Saturday, you have a smaller area um, and um, from the Sunday district we, uh, we put two or three, four districts together. That will be one area on a Sunday. <coughs> uh, the job we, um, uh, we do the, this job on early in the morning between 3 o'clock until 6 o'clock. So 6 o'clock is the deadline for Monday to Saturday. Sundays we uh, deliver some later. We deliver uh, between 6 o'clock until uh, 8.30. So it's some later. Uh, some things uh, which will you more suitable to do this job. Um, <coughs> I think if you think if you have too much studies, so wait with a regular district uh, and ask for a Sunday district, or you can like uh, work like a substitute only a few days a week. Uh, of course, not on the same area, but. Uh, uh, if someone are sick or want a vacation, you can work for a uh, shorter time, maybe one week. Then you can rest for one or two weeks and then ask for more job uh, for a weekend. Like so Sunday job is a good thing to start with. Um, we also... <coughs> Some districts, we have only 45 districts here in Linköping, so it's not so easy to get them and that sort of job either. Uh, Monday to Saturday, we have about 120 districts here in Linköping. Uh, <coughs> and um, then we have about 30 districts we deliver by car, which is all of um, on this page, we deliver by car, outside the time, town or uh, on the place where you have this sort of post boxes. The best to um, get contact with us is uh, if you go to this page, maybe you've seen that before, find from it I see. It's a Swedish one. Um,
if you only is to visit us and we will fill in a form um, where we want to know where you live, stay, um, your telephone number of course and then when we have some job to offer of course we will call you at that time. Uh, <coughs> we are three persons who work with this. Some of you know us. Uh, it's you one. Uh, normally he often open the door to us first person. <coughs> uh, then I sit in the next room and uh, we have Bengt who uh, Bengt and I normally plan for the work. And um, I suppose the first time it's better to visit us and ask for Jana. And uh, I can say um, uh, Friday afternoon is maybe not so good to come uh, because we have to plan uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday at that time. So it's better to come in the middle of the week. Normally we eat lunch between 12 to 2 o'clock. So uh, between 8 and 5 o'clock we are at the office. But between uh, 12 and 2 we are at lunch. What we want to know more is um, if you have got a person number from the tax office. It's uh, an important thing to us to um, uh, uh, give you the when we should uh, send the salary to you. So we are forced to, I suppose you know that we are forced to have this special person number for 10 numbers here in Sweden. But of course they can uh, take contact with us before and uh, break the break. <coughs> uh, responsibility for this job. Um, when you have got a job at Corinne it's, uh, it's important that we demand you to tell us, of course, the correct address where you so if you move to another address, we want to know that. And um, of course, the telephone number is also an important thing for us to know. Uh, <coughs> if you then when you work, if you not can work for one day, one week, uh, if you want vacation, for example, we want to know that. We want you to tell us about that. So we don't want you to ask a friend to work instead for you. Uh, if something happened with your friend and we uh, we don't uh, and you have your mobile uh, switch off, so we don't know uh, where we should uh, look for this per person to, to work instead for you. If that happens uh, not so often, but uh, a few times, and it will be a big problem for us at that time. Um, <coughs> so please, uh, we will we will fix the um, uh, vacation for you, but tell us at the office uh, when you want vacation. We plan that as long time as possible before. But two weeks to four weeks, we want to know that. And now when we come to uh, the Christmas, for example, here in December, we want you to plan uh, nearly one month before so we can ask a new person. And if you want your friend uh, to work at that time when you maybe have a vacation or uh, want to park off for a few days, of course you can, uh, we can let your friend do this work. But come with your friend and uh, tell that he or her want to work instead for me. So of course you can, uh, that's easier for us of course if you show your friend this job and so on. But we want to introduce this person 
So this keys, of course, it's one of the most important things. So when you are at home, uh, put this key on a place where you have control for them. I have had one person that uh, was studying here at the university and he lived in the corridor. He, when he came home, he um, <coughs> maybe filled in his changes in, uh, in the kitchen room. And uh, then he go to bed, forgot his key on the table in the kitchen when he came out. A few, hour, uh, a few hours later, the keys and the book was uh, not there. He came to me and said, uh, I cannot find the keys. And he had about 15 to 20 keys, and every keys cost us around 150 crowns to get a new one. And the owner of the house they are not so happy uh, about if the keys will be lost. So be careful of the key when you work, of course. Don't let the key be in the door outside when you are inside and leave the papers. So we say the introduce you get when you start working at Forum is that uh, be careful of the keys. If someone takes the book, we can very uh, quickly fix a new book for you. But the keys is very important. And the same when you come home. Uh, don't let them be in the kitchen room, for example, so someone other can take it. Take it in your room. <coughs> uh, about punctually, uh, we have a deadline at 6 o'clock in the morning, as I told you before. Uh, Sunday is 8.30. Uh, I should also say, if the paper not are late. I know that now in October and the beginning of November we have had a bad time at Koran. The paper had been late uh, the 8th in October. It was very late. We delivered the paper nearly during the daytime. Uh, and uh, The person who helped us uh, the best that day was you who studied here at the university because you could help us uh, during the day, sometimes during the day. Um, most of them I uh, phoned and said the paper had just now arrived to that place uh, where you can deliver them. Uh, I got an answer that I have my class now until maybe 10 or 11 o'clock, but then I can deliver. And that was good for us. So that day, um, the process from the company started uh, quarter past five o'clock in the morning from the factory in the uh, uh, Corran and we came to the last place at eight o'clock in the morning so uh, we finished with the delivering at nearly five o'clock with the last district so you students who work here uh, done a very good job that day I can say <coughs> I started the deadline 6 o'clock. Uh, I can also say it's better to finish the district 15 minutes before 6 o'clock than finish one minute uh, past 6 o'clock. There's nearly always one or two persons who not will be so happy if you uh, quit 
one minute after because they maybe go to their job or bus uh, ten or ten minutes past six or quarter past six. So uh, if you get a job, so think about that. It's better to uh, quit uh, quarter or ten minutes before six o'clock every morning. Also, if it happens something uh, when you deliver or if someone come can ask you something, maybe you will be delayed. So think about that. Uh, how to get job or how to leave your job? Uh, <coughs> one of the most usual questions I uh, get when you often have been a foreign and graduate student is uh, when can I expect to get a job? And just now I can say that uh, it's not so easy for me to uh, tell you when we can give you a job. But of course you are welcome to register you, but uh, uh, then it's not so easy to, for me to say because one of these 190 districts we have are forced to quit at first. And I think uh, the most job the employee who works at Corinth just now, they think one time extra before they want to quit the districts. <coughs> so the easiest is to, to get a job is like a substitute or if some of your friend uh, will be ill or sick. So uh, if you want, you can of course uh, follow together with your friend and uh, if you know that he or she wants off for one day, for one week, you can come and only you plan when you haven't got a job. Mm -hmm. Only you plan that uh, uh, so you come a long time before. I don't want you to come the same day and say, uh, I want off to, for tomorrow and my friend can work instead for that. We want to plan one day when you and I meet and we talk nearly one and a half hour about he, how we want the job done. I said before, uh, this special day when, um, <coughs> when Colin was very late, we, we find that uh, we have, uh, during 1990 to 19 or 2001, we have not so easy to uh, get employee to all of the districts. So we find that you who studies here at the university and work at Corin, we find that you, uh, uh, the job you do is uh, very good for us. So um, uh, we have about now, just now we have about 40 to 45 person who are guest students and um, work at Corin and uh, we do the work well. Uh, advantage or disadvantage to work at Corin? Uh, I suppose uh, the time the time can be the both of them. For some of you, maybe you find it's not so easy to go up early in the morning. But uh, the advantage is uh, that I, I don't think it will uh, be any problem uh, when you have studies. So. Um, uh, I think it's the right time for most of you that you can do this work in the morning before you have the class and uh, if you have uh, much to study you can um, do it maybe on weekends. Now we don't have so many strips for Sunday job but um, uh, well, maybe it will change and you can get that if you want. And then I think uh, for everyone, because I have also worked uh, with this job before, or sometimes it, it, sometimes it, it happened even today that I will have a paper in the morning, um, <coughs> but it's for the heat. It's good to uh, walk the stairs up and down. And um, uh, I nearly not discussed.
gathered up before I quit. Then when I was uh, forced to go out one morning and deliver the paper, I remember, okay, uh, now I have not so good condition as I had when I delivered the paper in the morning. So uh, I propose uh, one of the most advantage uh, for me was that uh, the heat was very uh, better than it is today. Then about the salary. Uh, <coughs> if you work a regular Monday to Saturday, I think you will earn about 4,500 up to 6,000. It depends on how long the district is. We have checked how long, uh, how many meters you uh, walk uh, outside, and we have also checked inside. We have see, uh, checked and see if this building you entrance have lift or not. If the uh, if the building not have lift, uh, you get 18 meters uh, for each floor. If the building has lift, you get only 9 meters. You think you take the lift to the top and walk down. So it depends on how long uh, you walk outside the buildings and then how many floors you have uh, in the building and of course if it has lift or not. That is the part of something. The, the most of the districts, I can say, they are, um, think they will tie, take about two hours. So uh, we have some districts which take two and a half hours. We have districts who not take more than maybe one and a half hour. Uh, then of course it depends on how many papers you deliver. In the basic, uh, on the district, you will have 150 papers. For every paper more than 150, uh, you will get extra pay. And also for this paper, we only deliver one day a week or two or three times a week. Uh, that papers, you also get extra pay for that. But we talk <coughs> more about this when you come to us and uh, uh, when you have get a job, of course. Then I know that uh, one of the questions was that you can work maybe on at SDR or Linkedin Boston. Uh, I have not so many information about that. SDR have been a, a company which belongs to Koren before, but uh, now this summer uh, SDR is another uh, company for itself. So we, we are not together unless they are any longer. Linköping in Boston is a uh, neighbor company here in Linköping uh, to Korra. It's the same street, Badesgata, but on the other side. Korra is Badesgata 5. Linköping in Boston is on Badesgata number 8 or 6, 6 or 8, I suppose. So, um, but I have not so, more, so much information to uh, give you about that. So, uh, but it's only to, uh, of course I can, now I don't have the telephone number to them here, but uh, of course you can uh, get it from the bar, you can uh, check on the uh, internet or uh, ask a friend about it. I suppose maybe you have some friend who work at uh, Linköping Boston or uh, Okay, uh, I don't think I have so much more to tell you. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> of course, you're welcome to come at Corum, but uh, uh, maybe you have some question to me. I will see if I can answer that. <coughs> Many of uh, the guys visited there, but you want to refuse them to yeah, go back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe Roland is busy or you can not register now. So, is there any time or?
specific time you enter them, then they can come and please the friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best time is uh, if you have time in, time in the morning between 10 to 12 30. I suppose we have uh, not so many to do at that time in the morning. So, um, uh, that time is the best. Then, um, oh, oh, just after 2 o'clock, uh, I think it's uh, also okay, of course.